Hi, this is Suzanne again. Just wanted to share another resource for you that can help you to watermark your images or graphics. This one is called Watermarkly and it's available at watermarkly.com. There are free and paid versions of this and it gives you the ability to watermark up to 50 photos in five minutes. So let's see if it actually is that quick. Let's click on Run Watermarkly and gives you the ability to either select the images or to drag them. So I'm going to go ahead and drag these over here. We're going to load and then I'm going to click on Next Step. This is where I'll be able to either add text or add a logo. I'm going to go ahead and add text. You'll see that it has popped open a sample of what the watermark will look like. So here where it says text, I'm going to just type in a URL. I'm going to use another URL of mine. You'll see that it kind of moves around so that you can see exactly what it looks like. You can also choose the font. There are some of these that are available only in premium, some in the pro plan. So there are different uh, plans that are available. And let's see. All right, I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to find one that I know. Well, let's just go with Open Sans. Okay, so I can actually play around with a size if I wanted to. That looks good to me. Um, they have a tile option. It seems to be a little, a little uh, finicky right now because I have tried three times and it just messes up everything so I'm not going to do that. Uh, you can choose the effect that you want. So if I wanted a shadow, let's say this one, I could use that. If I wanted more of a almost like rainbow kind of look, then I could use that. If I wanted more of an outline. So there are different ones. I think I like this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it actually over here. And then I'm going to change the opacity to somewhere around maybe 50%. It doesn't tell me exactly. I don't want it to necessarily stand out and take away, but I don't, I want it to be visible as well. So, that's how it would look if I leave it there. You see, you can still see it, but it's not taking away from the graphic. So next, I'm going to click on Watermark Images. And it gives us the option of auto-scaling the watermarks. And if this is what I think it is, okay, it is. Basically, if some of the images are smaller or larger um, than others in the group, then it will adjust the watermark size automatically. So you're not going to have a really small image and this huge watermark. Um, you can click on the JPEG quality. Um, I'll just leave it at superb. That was the default. And you can choose to resize images, which I'm not going to do because these images here are already perfectly sized for Facebook and Instagram. So I'm going to click on preview. And if I click on any of these, it should show me what it will look like. Should. 
Perhaps the preview only works for the first one, which is fine. Okay, so I'm going to click on the little X, and then I'm going to tell it to watermark the images. It's going to tell me as it goes through which is which. And my guess is that if I click on one of these, okay, so I can actually download all of them, or I could download them individually. So let's say I wanted to, uh, to download, actually, let's do this one. And then let's open it up to see what it looks like. Okay, so here is the quote image. And there is my little watermark. Now what I'm noticing here is that there they do have a watermark as well. So I'm guessing that's because I used the free option. Um, let's see what the price of the paid option is, or are I should say. Okay, so there are three different options. And if you go to watermarker.com forward slash pricing, you'll see the options there. Apparently the difference is whether you can use it for commercial use or not. And the amount of watermarks and fonts you can use it on as well as the number of computers that you can access it on. But any of these will take off their logo watermark and any of these will also allow you to uh, do to watermark up to 50,000 photos at once so that's a lot okay so that's another resource that I wanted to share with you on how you can watermark your images easily hope that helps